All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants doing a draft film breakdown brought to you by Manscaped, and we are looking at Oklahoma running back Eric Gray. Giants drafted this guy with their fifth round pick, a fifth round comp pick, and I love, love, love this draft because I really think Eric Gray can become a starting back in the NFL. We put him behind a solid offensive line. It's not going to be a superstar or anything, but a solid starting running back. Not the big, not the best athlete in the world at 5'9", 210 pounds. But he consistently makes the first guy miss. He's got good patience and vision. Doesn't create negative plays. Like He takes what's available there while creating stuff and making first guys miss. Is he going to make a million guys miss and then you know burn you down the field? No. But I think for where he's drafted, this is a really, really solid pick by the Giants. And has some receiving ability that we'll go to. Now, a better draft pick than him is... Manscaped. The draft is here. The most exciting prospect is the prospect of being perfectly groomed headed to t- head to toe with our friends at Manscaped. That's right. The Beard Hedger and Lawnmower 4.0 are a franchise changing combo that have you looking at your roster with pride. The Lawnmower Skin Safe technology reduces your nicks and snags uh, while making all, all the right cuts on hair. Get 20% off plus free shipping with code GIANTS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com when you use code GIANTS. Go from Mr. Irrelevant to a first-round pick with Manscaped. All right, let's get into Eric Gray, the running back out of Oklahoma. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, please. So first play here versus Iowa State. Again, you see he's able to consistently make guys miss on this counter play. Works this counter. We're pressing it. And and just pressing that. See how this linebacker jumps back into this gap and then burst and go up. Burst and go. You let this bat block take place. You've got him here. And then you see quick cut. Make a guy miss. Try and lateral cut on this. You got traffic. Fall forward a yard. And he consistently, consistently does that. Next play. I mean, just nasty cuts. And again, he's not like this guy's going to break a billion tackles. But what he will do is consistently on like on this split zone make the first guy miss. So he's going to press this outside. Versus safety, and bam, just plant that foot. I mean, it's so fast. Just bam, plant that first foot. Spin out of this tackle. And again, he doesn't have, like, the best contact balance in the world. You know, like, he makes the first guy miss. Second guy, he's going to try and fall forward or, or, you know, get those extra few yards. But just consistently makes that first guy miss. And again, good patience, good vision, setting up blocks. So this is your lead blocker right here, right? This is your lead blocker right here. This is the guy you got to play off of, this linebacker. Sets it up. Pulls this linebacker back inside. And then cut, get lateral, get upfield. Spin out of this. Loses footing, but gets gets tackled, but gets another you know couple yards out of this. So instead of a, a lot of backs at this point are just either... They're picking a side on this, but bam, cut out of it, spin. Get himself another six, seven yards. Next play. Just let his block set up. Carry it an outside track. Get this linebacker. I mean, again, you're working this outside track, which means you want to get this linebacker on the outside shoulder of 71. You've got it. You've set it up. Cut. Get upfield. Get upfield. Lower your head. And, again, he's not like some pile pusher, but he will fall forward consistently. Now, this is only a two-yard gain. But, again, like he, he takes negative plays away. Like his, his lead blocker right here, the, the tight end, he gets washed. He gets he gets caught in the wash. So now you're one on one on one in the hole, behind the line of the scrimmage. Just that quick cut, bam, gets tackled. So yeah, is that a three yard gain? To me, it's like a five yard gain because you made that first guy miss. Instead of having you know a second and twelve, now you have a second and seven, which is a lot lot more manageable. Next play, just good tempo, burst. 
Go. Go. Again, setting up your blocks. Work in tempo and then go. Reading the safety, Anthony Johnson Jr. Guy I like, by the way. Had him in the seventh round mock to the Giants. Takes the outside lane. Bam, cut off of it. First down for the boot for uh for the Sooners. Here again, avoiding negative plays. For this linebacker shoots this gap. Now, good job on his left tackle for taking that away. You've got your right tackle's a mess. Sidestep that, cut, get upfield. Make a positive play. And then here at the direct snap, he's going to get a touchdown. Yeah, follow your blocks. Press it outside, cut in. Fall in, get yourself a touchdown. Here, backed up in their own end zone. Spin, bam, let's go. Again, doesn't have like the greatest burst in the world out of it, you know. He's not a Saquon Barkley type, but obviously... Very few human beings are. But working this split zone, just great vision, okay? So this linebacker can do one of two things. He can lever this, which would be taking the outside shoulder, and in that case, uh, Eric Gray would cut this up inside. Or he can spill it, which is to go inside. Sees that he spills it, bounces it, sees this, this tackler come in, spin out of it, you just got yourself out of the back of the end zone. And then here on some outside type runs, this wide zone. Again, consistently making the first guy miss. And able to get out of the reach of Air, uh, Will McDonald, first round pick. You see this man's got, got his momentum going. Cut. Go. More wide zone. Run through a tackle in the backfield. You've got him working an ankle tackler. Keep your feet churning through it. Go. Nice little gain. This little chickeration stuff. Again, making a guy miss. Getting himself extra yards. We're following our blocker. Get outside. Cut. Make a guy miss. I'm just consistently, consistently is able to do this type of stuff in the run game. It's like an every, it's like an every down thing for Eric Gray. Now, obviously, in college, you got a little more space to work with in that type of stuff, but it's consistent, man. And I've seen other backs the Giants have taken in the past. Some guys on the roster that they've taken that are third string running backs, where it's like this type of stuff doesn't happen. And they got this guy with a fifth round comp. Now, in the receiving game, he's not some dynamic weapon, but he is a trustworthy wide rec uh, receiver. Here's going to run this flare route down the red zone. Good tackle by Iowa State, but he's got soft hands. Again, they're going to run this flare route, sell vertical, plant, catch. Nice little gain on, sec on second and goal at the five. Now you got third and goal at the one. You could punch it in. Here at Tennessee, where you got a little more receiving reps, again, running this flare. Not the cleanest, but good hands catch. Versus this zone. Catch it with your hands. Nice gain. And then here lined up, just nice little slant route. Tempos it. Tempos it, works outside track, burst, bam. Completion. And then just working the, you know, these middle of the field stuff. Like, this is nice. Right? Like we're working the middle of the field. See how we work this linebacker this way? We influence this linebacker. By turning our hips this way, turn back out of it. Nice little completion. Work in the middle field again. Again, this is nothing special, but just nice soft hands. Lined up here. Catch the ball, get up field, get as many yards as possible. Now, where he needs major, major improvement is as a quarterback, because this is this is horrendous. 
This is horrendous. Eric. Now, I love that you lay the boom on this tackle. But we, we got to eat this, man. You cannot throw this. This little jump pass. You are not Tim Tebow. I know that was a little corny. And for the like the seven people who are like, you care about this guy as a passer? No, it's a joke. It's a bad joke, but it's a joke. So, again, really, really like this Eric Gray pick out of Oklahoma. Uh, this is a guy who, if Saquon goes down, I feel like we can trust to start that game. You know, where, again, if when Gary Brightwell was drafted, never had any type of confidence like that. So, not not super flashy again not a superstar back but a guy who can consistently make guys miss has good patience sets up blocks good burst i love the eric gray pick with their fifth round comp pick for the new york giants so like and subscribe to the channel we've got film breakdowns out on every single one of the giants draft pick or we will have a film breakdowns on every single one of them um the John Michael Smith one is on our on our general football channel. I did it before the draft. That's a, a awesome one, my favorite one. So make sure to check that out. Check out the podcast, draft recaps, everything. We appreciate you guys. We really do. See you on the next one. Until then, let's go big blue. <laughs>